What is up guys, Andy Forest Team Runner here, back with another video for you and today we are announcing our May races and there are four of them, yes four. We have had race withdrawal symptoms, I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. Since Newport was cancelled, the only race I've run this year is the Lizery 8. It was a great race, but right now I'm itching to get out there again and as you know I'm going to be running the Forest of Dean Trails Marathon put on by the OMM but we have three other races that we're going to be running in May um, just because I need to race before we get back onto anything too serious um, I need to get some burnt off pent up energy out of my system. The first race in May is going to be the Forest of Dean Spring Mile. It is hosted by our athletics club they run a spring and an autumn mile. I miss the autumn mile I'm not really a track race kind of person, however I really enjoy the Spring Mile. Um, it's kind of just somewhere for me to go and literally go hell for leather, blast around the track for four laps and see how well I can do. We set the PB a year ago, 5.32 or something like that, so this year I want to go there and do a lot better than that. Uh, that is on the 1st of May, so that is literally two weeks tomorrow and that is in the evening. Then of course we move on to the Grand the grand plan, the master plan, which is the Forest of Dean Trails Marathon. That is on Saturday the 5th of May. So that one mile race is going to be on that week leading up to that. Uh, we're obviously going to have an immense time at that. I'm really nervous. Really, I can't express how nervous I am. But I'm also really excited because of all these marathons going on here in the UK. It's Manchester, Brighton, London, then Newport. All four weekends in April are filled with marathons and we are of course the first weekend in May. Once we've done that, <laughs> the weekend after, all being well with my legs and making sure they're okay, we're going to go and run the Hereford Half Marathon. I really want to run a half marathon since the training, uh, since Newport didn't happen and we did all that training. It's a bit ambitious going to do it eight days after a marathon because the marathon's a Saturday, Hereford's a Sunday. But you know what? I'm going to take my recovery seriously after the marathon. I'm going to have literally like two or three days off. I'm just going to probably go for like maybe one run in between. So Hereford's not going to be anything special. I'm not going to go all guns blazing. I am obviously going to shoot for a PB because my, my PB is 127.30. But I do want to go there and have a good time. So that is... Eight days after that, on May the 13th, that is a day before my birthday, ladies and gentlemen, May the 14th, um, where I'll be the grand old age of 31. And finally, to wrap up May, Thursday the 24th in the evening is the Fountain 5. It's another local race put on by our athletics club. I do it every year. It's a fantastic race. It is just like up, down, up, down, up, down. Um, and it's five miles and it's one of those ones where you go out of the blocks and you are breathing hard within 30 seconds and you don't let up. Um, I remember last year I really suffered in the last mile but it was so worth it. The feeling at the end was great um, and I'm really looking forward to that one again. So we have four awesome races lined up in May. Another exciting thing which I'm not going to announce now but after the Hereford Half Marathon on May the 13th, so the 14th is my birthday, it's a Monday, and then probably on that Monday or the Tuesday, I am going to be starting a new 10-week plan. So things are going to get serious midway through May. Obviously right now we're just kind of two weeks of hard running for the marathon and then we're going to taper off a mini taper for the week, just lighten the load a bit. But after that, we are going to be starting another training plan. I can't wait to announce what race it's for. It's a 10-week plan and it's going to be epic is all I'm going to say. Details for that coming soon. So I just wanted to drop that in there quickly for you now, guys. So excited with all these things coming up. I didn't want to just spring you with all these races. I wanted to let you know what's going on, share with you my excitement that March was such disappointment with all those races and the injury. Um, that May is going to be epic. So guys, thank you so, so much for joining along with the journey. Really appreciate your support. If you enjoyed this video, as always guys, please do give it a like, share it with your friends and do subscribe if you're new here for weekly running content. And I will see you on Wednesday for an awesome When Collaborators Collide. Until then.